Xbox One introduces 15 incredible facts that you didn't know about the Far Cry series. This open world shooter has been riding high since 2004, which makes it almost 15 years old and there's just so much that you didn't know about it, so let's get started. The origin of Far Cry can be traced back to 1999 and a tech demo called Exile Dinosaur Island, which was all about roaming around a tropical island filled with lots of stomping dinosaurs. Not long after making it, developer Crytek teamed up with publisher Ubisoft and the Exile demo was used as the basis for the very first Far Cry, which launched in 2004. In particular, Exile introduced us to huge game worlds, more detailed natural locations and seamless transitions between interior and exterior locations. Things came full circle in 2015 when Crytek released a tech demo tribute to Exile called Back to Dinosaur Island. Did you know there was a Far Cry film? Not a fan-made one, an actual full-length studio production. It was directed by none other than Uwe Boll, who's responsible for several movies based on video games over the years, including Alone in the Dark, Postal, and Blood Rain. But for me, Far Cry is Uwe's crowning glory. It came out in 2008 and follows an ex-Special Forces soldier who's hired by a journalist to investigate a top-secret military base on an exotic island. You just can't beat stunts like these. Oof. The German Federal Review Board for Media Harmful to Minors was not cool with Far Cry. In particular, it objected to one specific thing that you could do in the game, and that is interacting with bodies after they had died, whether that's shooting them, running them over, or generally just being mean to them. And as a result, they made it illegal to distribute or advertise the game to under-18s in Germany. So Crytek patched the post-death ragdoll out and Germany got a different version of Far Cry to the rest of the world. In the German version, you can't interact with dead enemies because once they died, the ragdoll effect was deactivated. In this version, you respected the dead. Props to anyone who remembers this next fact. As part of the marketing for Far Cry 2, Ubisoft created a blog. It was called War Unlimited, My Journey Through a War Zone and was written by Ruben Oluwagunbi. Ruben Oluwagunbi is not a real person. You actually meet him in Far Cry 2. This war blog kept going for weeks and contained loads of background information for the game well before it came out, including audio recordings and photos of African uprisings. Also, Wildebeest. The crazy thing is that you can still see the blog at rubenblog.typepad.com. Check it out. Heart of Darkness is one of the all-time great novels, and it's what inspired 2008's Far Cry 2. Written in 1899 by Joseph Conrad, Heart of Darkness shares many themes with Far Cry 2. Both are set in Africa and explore European colonization, but only one features awesome flamethrowers. To drive the homage home, the final area of Far Cry 2 takes place in a region literally called Heart of Darkness. It's not subtle, but hey, so little of Far Cry 2 is, and that's why we love it. Far Cry 3's protagonist, Jason, was originally going to be voiced by Elias Tufexis, and if that name sounds familiar, that's because it's the same man who voices Adam Jensen in Deus Ex Human Revolution. Tufexis ended up doing quite a bit of voice work for Far Cry 3, but Ubisoft ultimately replaced him because he had such a distinct voice that apparently it was hard to play the game without thinking of Deus Ex. Events came full circle in Far Cry Primal when Tufexis came back to voice prehistoric protagonist Taka. He definitely asked for this. This, in this case, being a dirty face and no hot water. Remember Christopher Mintz Plass from Superbad and Kick-Ass 2? Yeah, well, bizarrely, in Far Cry 3, you can find his dead body. This is because in the run-up to Far Cry 3, Ubisoft released a series of internet videos starring Mintz Plass. In episode 4, Vass, played by Michael Mando, captures Mintz Plass and buries him in the sand. And he must have been here a while, as you can actually find him in the exact same position in Far Cry 3. 
Just visit the beach of one of the northern islands and look for two dead people hanging on a tree. The head poking out of the sand nearby is McLovin. Now that really is a super bad thing to do, Vass. Super bad. Vass nearly wasn't in Far Cry 3 at all. Before Ubisoft introduced the sociopathic madman to the game, concepts were drawn for a hulking brute with one eye named Bull, and also a volatile pyromaniac named Pyro. These plans were swiftly dropped when actor Michael Mando came into audition. He brought a chilling energy with him, and Ubisoft hired him on the spot. Incidentally, Mando went on to appear in Breaking Bad spin-off Better Call Saul, and in a kind of Six Degrees of Separation thing, there's a Breaking Bad reference in Far Cry 3, alluding to a load of meth coming from New Mexico. Everything is connected. There's a mind-blowing link between Far Cry 3 and Assassin's Creed. If you visit a certain lost lab, you can read of a fellow named Hayato and his suspicions of foreign scientists who talk about pieces of Eden and genetic memory. They didn't mention anyone in a hood stabbing people though, because that would be a little on the nose. Look closely and there's even an Abstergo logo on the wall, Abstergo being the fictional corporation from Assassin's Creed. Both Assassin's Creed and Far Cry are of course developed by Ubisoft, but it's surprising to see these different universes share a connection all the same. Lots of work went into Jason's tattoo in Far Cry 3. While there are also elements of New Zealand, Fijian, Hawaiian, Cuban and Asian cultures in it, the biggest inspiration is Polynesian, and in Polynesian cultures, tattoos signaled status and rank, and were usually marked into the face, thighs and backside using chisels made from albatross bone. Thankfully, you only have to undergo an arm tattoo in Far Cry 3. Interestingly, in the original trailers, Jason's tattoo was on his right arm, but it switched to his left arm in the final game in order to make it more visible during gameplay as Jason uses his left arm more. If there's one thing that the Far Cry series does well, it's a reference and Far Cry 4 is full to the brim with them. Let's walk through the best. There's a hypodemic needle with the description filled with glowing liquid. If this were a failed underwater utopia, you wouldn't think twice about jamming this in your arm. This is of course a nod to Bioshock. Also, one of the insults that the heavy machine gun troopers will throw out at you is cry some more, which you'll hear a lot from the heavy if you ever play Team Fortress 2. The HS-77 weapon also closely resembles Han Solo's pistol, and its description calls back to Han shooting first. This dead soldier here clutching a grail next to an altar covered with similar looking chalices looks remarkably similar to this scene in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oh, and in one of his missions, Herc yells, get to the chopper, get to the chopper, rounding us out with the must have predator reference. You can actually finish Far Cry 4 in less than 15 minutes and unlock a super secret ending along the way. To do this, simply wait around after Pagan Min's monologue at the very beginning of the game. Stay here for about 10 minutes without moving and Min will actually come back to you. And he's in a very charitable mood. He picks you up in his chopper and takes you to your mother's grave where you can lay her ashes to rest. Sure, you didn't blow up any elephants, but it's a nice resolution. Who knew a honey badger could be so deadly? During a side quest, you're tasked with hunting down Gulo, a fearsome beast who is literally surrounded by the corpses of any foolish animal who dared to cross his path. If you go way back to 2011's viral videos, you may remember the crazy nasty ass honey badger video, which amassed an incredible 85 million views. This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. It's pretty badass. Look, it runs all over the place. Whoa, watch out, says that bird. The video explains the terrifying power of the simple honey badger, and considering how hard Gulu is to defeat, it's not a massive leap to see what Gulu was modeled on. Forget lions, forget fearsome bears, or the fangs of a poisonous snake, it's the humble badger who will haunt your nightmares. What next? A level where we have to assassinate keyboard cat. 
We're almost at the end of the video now, so it's time to tie it all together. There's a callback to the protagonist of the original Far Cry in Far Cry 4 when Herc mentions Jack Carver being his tattoo bro. Far Cry also shows up in Far Cry 3 in the form of a boat called Medusa. The Medusa is the name of Jack Carver's boat in the original. Far Cry 3 references the previous game in its Monkey See, Monkey Boom DLC because one mission involves stealing a stash of Boa Seco conflict diamonds from some pirates. Boa Seco being a region in Far Cry 2. Another callback from Far Cry 3 to 2 is in the area called Bear Town, where a woman claims shadowy figure the Jackal sold her out. The Jackal is from Far Cry 2. Finally, in Far Cry 3, a man asks you to find some lost packages for him, and to track them down, he gives you the exact same map and tracking device from Far Cry 2. They're not overt links, but we do love discovering a subtle callback. If Far Cry 5 creative director Dan Hay is to be believed, Far Cry 5 features the series' best mission ever. He says, I don't think I can make a choice between the games, but there's a mission in Far Cry 5 that's my favourite mission. I can't tell you what it is, it's not imperative to the story, it's not something you have to do, but it's a very charming moment that closes the loop of your involvement with Guns For Hire and it's a really fun moment that's a gift to the player. You get to experience the end of a story or the beginning of a new one from a family. Well, talk about setting some high expectations. Give me Far Cry 5 now. Now, damn it. So there you have it. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to play the latest Far Cry immediately. Let us know down in the comments below if you plan on doing the same and subscribe to the channel for more videos and we'll see you guys next time. Whoa, watch out, says that bird.